Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Embody Your True Essence. It's Monday, August 17, 2024. It's a step 27 day. It's a net nine. It's an Aries day. How are you guys doing today? I'm very happy to see you here. My mind is good. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a new day. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> it's a it's nice. It's not too too clear, but it's still sunny, and uh, I feel light today. How's your how's your mood? How's your mood? Yeah, lots of things have happened this weekend. Human human we we had a big event at Human Garage, uh, and then um, yeah, it's just like a, you know interacting with so many people and coaches, and then yeah. And then they they just left for um, Toronto. Good morning, Lee. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Yeah, lots of stuff happened. I feel I feel like you know I feel like I can always take more. And then you know if I wanted to, I could interact more. I miss one channel for climb with everybody, but it's just like decided to do what I have to do. And then yeah, but you know I can only do so much. Yeah, it was awesome. I'm um, integrating in my own way but every time is a bit different right when I mean, you shift and then you integrate and you shift again i definitely feeling like i coming into my own you know being <laughs> one of my students marion she's amazing see she always encourages me to just equate believe in being you know i think it's like at the end of it we don't have much many things to learn it's just like you just have to discover who you are and then keep on shining that superpower that we have but to get to the point we have to kind of go through some darkest time of our life and it's to dig deeper and then you think you heal from some part of yourself and then as soon as you've thought you heal and then the layers come back and healing happens in layers and going through that layers and every time you step up I think um, last week, I think my biggest takeaway and the biggest learn was, biggest lesson that I learned was, I am not responsible for anybody else's emotions. <laughs> That's a huge part. And then I, uh, that was one of the affirmations that uh, Gary did uh, when he was working on Laura. Laura is a tour manager for Human Garage for this world tour. And she was carrying a lot of stress, obviously, because, because you know, like it's, it can be very intense and when you're traveling around. And um, when we worked on Laura, and um, it was super powerful. It's just like, it's like, you know, I am no longer, you have to tell her so. It start with our intention. When we start with an intention, everything around you, it's kind of just like that moment of, you know, your matrix, your limited beliefs, like crumbles. It's like, oh, okay, you're no longer tied to this. And then that's when the matrix crumbles. <laughs> and then... It's like, okay, this is how I live my life. Okay. Okay, I'm doing this. And then you think that that you think that the very thing that you see in front of your eyes is just like crumbles. It's like, you know, we were shown delusion and delusion that we create with our own perception. And as soon as we make a decision, we don't have to tell people. We just like tell inside of us or a journal and then maybe do some rituals <laughs> it's like this is how i live my life and then everything else is just because it's a reflection of our mind it just needs to crumble it's like okay we're not doing this anymore so yeah and then i was working th i've been working through my hips the tightness it's like what's wrong with this tightness and i've been told a couple times that i've been taking on a lot of people's emotions here because this is my shadow and i think when we have a sh we all have shadow <laughs> to start we all about light and darkness and it's all about integrating a uh, shadow aspect of ourselves because this is where we did not know how to love ourselves we judge yourself having that but we are you know we're on that path of self self-love journey and we loving ourselves 
we are learning to love our shadows, the nastiest part of ourselves. We thought even the not the word nastiest is like there's nothing wrong with us, right? And then um, when we have a shadow, I feel like we attract uh, that kind of energy, and we ended up taking on people's energy because this is where you know when you have the absence of light, and that is the shadow. And uh, this is basically empty um, void, right? So the energy is just sucked in, gets sucked in, and it gets sucked in more. And then you realize one day it is like, oh, why am I taking on people's energy? Not necessary to be to judge or to be afraid. It's more like, okay, what can I do better? So. I started to do this affirmation on the area where there's a tightness. Hello, pain, or hello, hello shadow. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And show me what I need to see. But I understood that this is a result of me. Um, you know, you think it's like, you know, we're em empathic or take on, take on energies. And I, I said, I just didn't have a boundary over it. Now I know, I learned. So what I started to do was I was talking and when every time the emotion comes up or every time I feel, um, you know, empathic to someone's, what they were going through, I listen, observe, and then, but I know that I tell myself I am no longer responsible, especially when someone is attacking me or especially someone is trying to make me feel bad, that's when I say I am no longer responsible for this people's emotions, people's shame, people's anger. I am no longer responsible, especially works with um, towards the family member or relationship because those are the people that we care so much that we just take it so personal, <laughs> right? So that's one lesson. I, I feel very empowered using that affirmation. I'm, I'm no longer responsible for people's emotions. I love myself first, and I feel my cup first, and, um, and then I live my life, yes. <laughs> How's your energy, guys? Lots of learning every day. I love doing this meditation to ground myself to start the day so that I can set the mood for the day. And um, and the next day I come back and I share what I learned <laughs> and I repeat. <laughs> so thank you guys for being here. So today is, I'm going to read Sayur Shoi. And uh, it was so um, awesome to see Sensei Christopher. He's my superhero. <laughs> this is good, good for me to hear this. Working through right hip issues. Yeah, we're no longer responsible for someone else's um, emotions. And uh, right hip is the fear of moving forward, right? And a fear is teaching us how to be compassion, compassionate with ourselves. So give ourselves more compassion. It's like, you know, maybe we take on those energy because if we didn't have strong boundaries, but now we know. And so every time the pain comes up and it's just thank or pain, thank you. Thank you, emotion. Thank you for this trigger. Thank you for this activation so that I, I, can, re, I can retune myself, right? It's almost tuning in and tuning into a certain frequency that we don't associate myself with other people's frequency. It's about the resonance, but at the end of it, people are showing us where we are sometimes or where they are, right? So using the discernment, the understanding, the energy differences, dif differences, and so that we can make wise decision. Not necessarily smart decision, because uh, we can never beat AI. <laughs> and uh, there are always going to be more smart people. That's just like uh, me joking, but um, I'm learning to make wise decision. All my decisions are back up with my heart but also with my consciousness and my intuition so that I make good decisions for myself. So now, today is step 27. 
Welcome to a quantum full moon in Aquarius. A happy full moon in Aquarius. Today you are detaching from an old social perspective and aligning yourself with a society or social group you truly belong. You may not know these people yet, but in time you will. With the sun squaring Uranus, this full moon demands that you pursue your heart's greatest desires without compromising your personal dreams or manifestation, manifestation goals. If you're off track in your life, a breakdown may happen today, revealing the work to be done. So we'll see what we'll come up with. You know, sometimes like you, we are all playing, we are all um, actors and actresses and <clears throat> in our own drama that we have created. <laughs> and sometimes we cry, we're sometimes happy, but we're playing roles. And once we realize that, we can be in an observer, we're the creator, we're the conductor, you know, when the play is being played, this drama happening, and then put yourself, observe and listen more. Okay, do I like what I'm seeing? Yes. Or do I like what I'm seeing? No. And then we can change it. We have to always remember that we can change the reality. We can change the drama that we're seeing also, don't forget to make fun of it, you know. Don't forget to um, take our story so seriously because we can always change it when we don't like something. And this is a hard part when you are in, in it through the drama sometimes, right? We created this. We created this reality. We, we can all change this. So now, another message, activating joy. Today, your ego and strength are the leading state of awareness, also known as step nine, I act, I am consciousness. The energy is highly energetic, compulsive, and will lack patience. You may feel a sense of immediacy or urgency with whatever comes to mind. You may feel defensive, aggressive, or mistakenly fall into moments of arrogance. If your heart is neglected or uncared for, your ego may attempt to overcompensate, act out, or overreact. So that's kind of like that negative side of Aries energy. Aries are the very headstrong, the first zodiac of 12 zodiac signs, and they tend to have very much like, you know, pushing, like masculine type of energy. And then the opposite negative side of it is um, have tend to create a lot of anger. Anger is here on the right side, underneath the rib cage, on the corner of the right side of the rib cage. And um, yeah, so <laughs> we all have the tendency, right? When you like try to push the pain and it's uh, push, not necessarily push the pain, but it try to take action. That's the action sign. So it's feeling like, it's like immediacy of like trying to do something, right? For all these reasons, you may want to start the day with some simple exercise, yoga, meditation, or 30 minutes walk to ground your energy and unify the mind, body, and spirit. Doing physical labor, getting towards sun, or running errands first will burn off the excess and allow you to focus. Or oh, maybe that's why like, I'm like, like this. <laughs> I'm going to ground myself. Once grounded and centered, the larger narrative for today involves officially kick-starting your project for greater love and joy in your life. You may already know exactly what you need to do to get the ball rolling. If that's the case, check your feeling and your intuition to ensure that you feel this is both the right action and also the right time to initiate your intention. When you feel the green light, make your move. If you don't have a specific, specific action that you can start or stop, then it's important to do something that is a symbolic gesture of your intention. For instance, if you intend to relocate to a nice home, call, or, call a realtor or book a showing, or if you intend to start your own business, research a business license or corporate, intention, corporate intentions. But if you were attempting to simply treat yourself nice in life, then do something specifically that treats you nicer. Since its degree, Trion's gal galactic center, it's important that you do something to initiate the manifestation. 
In each of your stories today, use your feeling and intuition to choose the perfect moment to dig in your love and joy upgrade. Today is the official day to move forward with friendship changes, social marketing, and public ambitions. Before making any statement, take a moment with your feelings and your intuition from last minute adjustment. Use your feelings to navigate the rollout. Put into motion your long term plans for ego, character, and your personal image. Use your personal beliefs as your guidance for how to make the changes. If you remain focused, your changes will become permanent six months from now. Today's goal is put into motion your plans for escalating love and joy in your life. Mind your feelings. Another aspect that is important today is your response to outside influences or yourself. Any response you make to yourself or others constitutes as an official cause that will generate a new effect. Make sure that every response you make to yourself or others is in the highest vibration of love possible. Activate your joy. I am elevating love in every action today. So this is a crystal one from Gisela. Gisela, Gisela is an Argentina lovely lady who's basically the energetic conductor for human garage. And so behind that energetic realm, spiritual realm, she's the one that is guiding Gary and the core team, the direction. And uh, in the physical world, you can see who's leading and who's switching and taking turns. And, you know, it's about the harmony and collaboration. But um, this one has really made me um, transform. And somebody asked me about this, this L, this, uh, you guys see it? Yeah. Uh, was it Lee? I forgot. Um, and then um, I, somebody asked a question to Gisela. It turned out to be, this is her signature. <laughs> it's an L because of her name. Yeah, so that's, it looks like the uh, L, but that's her, that's her, that's her logo. <laughs> so, yeah, it's super, super powerful. And, um, so one side has omega uh, alpha one side has omega and so this embodies the torus field of, of the earth and every crystal that she has and she creates um have this torus field so um actually um it's basically you do not have to charge this crystal because this crystal has that earth frequency already this torus field so you never have to uh charge it it's super super interesting right yeah so you don't have to um you don't have to um charge it but human garage normally likes to put this Omega up because Gary and Jason are Sagittarius and it's like they just want to, you know, always challenge themselves. So I've been using like that. And it's so funny when I saw Zizella at the Human Garage event and she's like, every time I see her, it's like, ground yourself, ground yourself. <laughs> she guided me. And it's so funny because um, I'm often so high up here. And then I forget about the lower chakra. <laughs> so in that case, this is the direction. Put the alpha on top. And so that energy goes in like this. If it goes like that, energy goes up like that. So this is how you can work with that um, wand. You can work with the bodies. Energy healing super powerful. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, Lee was the one who asked me about this. So she recommended i work like this making the uh alpha up and then uh, you can also when you have a tension and then how you can do that is because the alpha goes like that you want to use it like that first you know i'm making this uh i'm putting let's say i have a shoulder pain and i'll put the alpha like that so the energy goes up like that right so that it clears up the energy i'm just going to put it on my hip right now and it go energy goes like that and then once you feel that energy goes out and then you can flip it so that good energy come in so this is how you can clear so really about placing and playing with that but also you you can do like 
this works too. So it's a very powerful one. A lot of coaches purchased it this time from Zizella. I mean, I have had this one for like good, I don't know, two, almost three years, two years and a half. It has really helped me transform. And、um, every human garage four members have this one. I get it myself. It's <laughs> super powerful. Yeah. So it's just like all about energy, energy. We're batteries. We're constantly,、um, you know, emitting our energy out to exchange and taking our energy stand. And sometimes when we don't have that equal energy exchange, that's, that's when we feel sometimes depleted, sometimes feel charged, right? So it's all about receiving, giving. But I want to go beyond that. I am charging you, you're charging me. The constant flow, I think that's, that's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> yes, yes. So today's energy is about action energy.、It、can be a little bit volatile because you just want to make stuff happen and take an action type of day. Funny thing is, you know, I always pick a card, the card from Shine, Brittany Carmichael. It's a beautiful card. And the card I picked is. For the collective, it's slow down and rest you need it. <laughs> slow down. We're gonna slow down on this day. Full moon Aquarius. Full moon. It's a lot, energy is high, right? So self care isn't selfish. And so give yourself permission to put yourself first today. What was the last time you asked yourself, what do I really need? Slow down and take a moment to tune into your soul's voice and to see what you need most right now. When you put your mind and body into overdrive and don't take the time to rest and refuel, your body begins to show physical signs that it's time to slow down. I really know that <laughs> when that happens. Give yourself permission to make you a priority today before your body makes you. They say we can't fill from an empty cup and to put our oxygen mask on first, yet we have the hardest time adapting this philosophy to all areas of our lives. Don't wait until resentment or anger kicks in to take a break. That's, so, those emotions are teaching us our boundaries, you know, because it's like I joke around now, I'm a recovery people pleaser and I'm a recovery perfectionist. And so, when I often cross my boundaries that way, right? So, if that happens, resentment and anger stop us. It's like, You're crossing your own boundaries, right? So you gotta stop. Don't wait until resentment or anger kicks in to take a break. If you've been overgiving and you're on the edge of burnout, this card shows up as a reminder to take care of yourself before overextending again. Oh gosh, hi, s t e v I'm feeling that now. This resonates so much. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad. Yeah. Sometimes slowing down is the most. Forward action we could do, right? I've been talking about I even made a song. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a latest, uh, uh, how do you call it? Safe, self c l a i m recording artist. <laughs> I write in journal and I write lyrics and then you and copy and paste the lyrics into this song app. You know, it's crazy nowadays. You can make your own song and this AI app. Can make your song. So I started to post some of that and I hope you guys enjoy it. But it's kind of like, you know, all songs have frequency and it's an affirmation, right? So might as well make a song. I would like to make a song that is uplifting. And even when it's not uplifting, but something that h e l p you shift. So that's what I'm aiming for. So yes, <laughs> I made this song, Push and Push. Pull, right in the way, push and pull, pull and push. That's how I roll, you know. That's how when I'm moving like water, push and pull, pull and push. That's when I know I'm on the right track. So, nothing is rigid, it's all about the solid foundation. But inside the solid foundation, I am pulling, pushing, and take turns. <laughs> and、uh, I got my acoustic records read the other day. It's about reading my library and asking questions. Oh, I like that lighting. They're coming. <laughs> and、um, 
um, I asked this question, how can I find a balance between my career, business, and my relationship? And the message I got was, you know, I know how to flow because I'm a dancer and I know how to dance and flow. And uh, so it's about the balance and the balance can only be achieved if you don't judge yourself because sometimes, you know, some days you're more business oriented, business focused, and sometimes you're, you take time to, you know, rest and focus on a relationship. It's about the balance, a little bit of, little bit of personal time, a little bit of relationship time, a little bit of business time. And it's about the balance. It's not about doing this only, doing this only. So it's like, it's always check yourself. Am I having a good balance? right if you feel like you didn't take some time me time then you gotta create some time because if you feel off balance and that's when just like this says anger and resentment kicks in it's like you're not finding the balance right so i think we're all learning that monday is um normally my be busy day because I do this live and I normally have a Zoom meeting and then I, I have my coach call to teach and then do Instagram live <laughs> and then finish with a fashion maneuver class in person. But, you know, sometimes go, go, go. But then it's like I'm taking my moment, checking, like, am I giving myself love? And then I'm creating the habit. I'm learning to love myself and love myself more and acknowledge and give myself more acknowledgement and instead of asking and waiting for people to give to me because it doesn't really matter what other people think if I don't think a certain way. So I'm practicing my self-love. Steve Joy is an astrology app that sends you messages throughout the day and there are a lot more features in the app but um, a lot of messages are so creepy and it's so good, you know, it's, it's for me. And one of the messages, you tend to um, think about a lot of love, creation, and kids, and all that fun, you know, stuff. But you really think about loving yourself. And that's the message I got. And then it's like, wow, that's really right. I think about fun stuff, but I don't necessarily come back and, you know, giving that love to myself. I think about giving the love to others, but not to myself. So instead of going like this, my imagery is not to go like this, but shower my first self, shower, my, shower with love, shower my first and with love. So it's kind of like you're giving myself, giving myself love first and then whatever excess you go outside. So it's not just going outside and depleting myself, but shower my first self, love myself, I love myself. I love myself. I kind of like that. They go like this. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of this um, when I teach in person class, like taking from the Mother Earth. But I also start, should go like this too. Yeah, that would be super powerful. Expanding, contracting. I can go yeah <laughs> breathing is important <laughs> right yeah do you guys have any questions sometimes I have all the ideas come in sometimes like my mind is like all over the place but I feel a um, little tension here so let's just move ahead so my rising sign is Leo and then according to astro.com if you guys don't know how to read your chart i suggest you go to astro.com to get your chart read so you can see that but um astro.com shows that i'm 20 leo rising and i so i always thought that okay to represent cancer i feel energy so i have this type of sensitive energy people come across and then at some point i realized that it's like See joy also shows my rising sign and uh, step number switch from 20 to 21 at some point so now i'm a 21 rising sign 
and I thought the sixth sim wasn't wrong. So I messaged Sirius Joy. It's like, you know, I used to be 20 rising sign, even on astro.com and even on Sirius Joy. And at some point, it's, it has changed. Like, am I 20 or am I 21 <laughs> rising sign? And I, I've been wanting to ask a question to Sensei Christopher because um, I've been messaging Steve Shoy, but I never got the answer, basically. So, and then it was great. Uh, basically, sounds like Astro.com uses the old system for location, maybe the old world map and stuff like that. But Steve Shoy, when they run your chart, it reached the Google map. So Google location, that's a way more precise. So you can actually you know, put um, location of your hospital and then put that information in there, stuff like that. So I'm officially <laughs> confirmed that um, I'm a 21 rising sign, which has a uh, Sagittarius energy. And uh, it's very interesting, you know, moving from cancer to rising sign Sagittarius energy. It's like, I am not afraid to be seen. That's something that I've been working on, you know, my my dream of being impactful, dream to impact the world is greater than the fear of being seen, misjudged, and, in mis um, and misunderstood by others. You know, <laughs> I keep telling myself because I want to do this. I want, I love speaking and I'm speaking about what I embody and I'm speaking about what I believe. And I really enjoy that. So I'm definitely embody that part of myself, 21 rising time. <laughs> yeah. So I have Libra, and uh, my sun sign is Libra, but it has a Capricorn energy, decision making, uh, leadership type of energy, with rising sign, with uh, Sagittarius moving forward, and uh, and then uh, you know, just like Leo energy, emitting love, emitting love, and then um, my moon is Aquarius, twenty eight Aquarius, so. I have this weird side of me. Aquarius is so good at detaching emotions. So it works in a good and a bad way, right? So um, today is a formal name Aquarius. So we are really embodying detaching yourself from old stories. What is your old story? Sometimes we put ourselves, like we all the time, we put ourselves, put ourselves in this invisible cage for ourselves. And we thought that is that is an expectation. This is how we work, you know. When you especially work under, you know, work under organization or work under boss, and you think that this is the invisible case that put you in shop, but that's not the case. Nobody is forcing you to do something that you don't want. But we some somehow put ourselves into that situation. Now, what I embodying is catching myself. Catching myself when I notice some patterns that don't serve me anymore. This is not how I live my life. And the last week and this week, I am um, continue to embody the idea that I am no longer responsible for people's emotions. And a lot of it, uh, when um, Gisela, so who's the energetic healer, or I don't know her, her title, she, she does a lot of different things. But I am no longer responsible for my mother's emotions. And that was huge. That was heavy. I am no longer responsible for my father's emotions. Let that sink in. That's, a, that's the hard part, right? I never thought of that. Another layer is being peeled off. It's like I am no longer responsible for my parents' emotions because, you know, we want to be all love, people pleaser, right? And it's like I want to do what my parents are proud of, but I would do I would do some some stuff that my parents are proud of, but I definitely do some stuff that my parents are not proud of. But you know, at the end of it, at the end of it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> For the longest time, I wanted to live far away from my parents. Of course, I had my dream, and that dream got me where I am and came to Canada. But even like as soon as I graduated from high school, I wanted to live far away from my parents. 
<laughs> far away from my parents where they can't reach me easily. <laughs> and that was my decision that I made because, because I felt like my parents were very controlling and told me what to do. And, but another belief, an invisible case that I put myself was I had got so used to being told what to do. <laughs> I got so used to being told what to do. Someone tell me what to do, so I just do it perfectly. That was my pattern, literally, being a people pleaser and do any project that were given so perfectly, you know? So that's why I'm a recovering people pleaser and recovering perfectionist. And then I am coming to a point where people just tell me, just people don't tell me anymore. Yeah, just do you, just be you, just keep being you, just show me being an example for other people, role model for other people. I'm coming to a point where people tell me that, the organization tell me that, Human Garage tells me that. And it's like me, it's like so used to being told what to do. It's like, okay, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> and then I have my limited belief, right? It's like, should I just do online? Should I just do in person? And then the message I got from the Akasic Record reading the other day was, <laughs> literally don't limit your choices you can do whatever you want to do every time you limit yourself then you make yourself small and so the outcome will be small i'm like no so another mantra another realization i got was i am opening myself to infinite possibilities i am opening myself to infinite possibilities and <clears throat> because we tend to put ourselves in an invisible cage. I put myself first and also I'm learning this matrix that I create is not a curse. <laughs> the matrix that I create is allow me to express myself in an impossible, infinite way, right? And I remind myself of that every single day. So everything that all the inspiration, all the triggers that are coming at me, inspire me to realize that oh i can expand in this area i can create in this area i decided that i am going to live my you know live my life the most joyful expansive way <laughs> i keep only my one so <clears throat> i yes one where can we order one if you guys are interested you can message me but i only know uh uh, her name is Cizella. Cizella makes this one. And this one is super powerful. And uh, um, I'll, I'll give her her Instagram. And if you go to her Instagram, you can um, you can click her website. And that goes to the website. Um, her ones are powerful. Her, all her crystals are powerful. It embodies that earth frequency. You, don't, you do not have to charge her crystal. It has this energy, it charges itself. So it helps you charges um, anything. It charges your crystal too, like the crystals you have. But her crystals are, uh, doesn't, they don't need to be charged. It charges itself. Yeah, message me. Yeah, so I can send you. So it's super powerful. And just like Harry Potter, you know, when that Harry Potter movie, the hat chooses you, right? Chooses a, a character to go into which. So same thing, um, the one chooses you. And when, when you're ready, you gift yourself a one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So powerful. It is powerful. It has changed me and transformed me. And um, I got asked a question. Um, and Julie just got Coach Julie from season one just got this um, one. And if she asked me, do you keep that, um, you know, the box of the one? I'm like, I work with this every day that it's like, this doesn't go, they don't, <laughs> this doesn't even go to the box anymore. So I throw that away because <laughs> I work with it. I take it everywhere with me and I put it in a, 
uh, bo- uh, bag, backpack, it's always there. So, yeah, it's the one. But all I need to do is ground myself. Because if I ground myself, I can really go... I. This is something I realized. It's about the balance, right? When you're super grounded, then you want to go maybe high up. But for me, it's just in nature. I'm like here all the time. <laughs> My partner thinks that I live in a la la land, you know. I ground, I need to ground myself. So this will help me putting the offer up, help me ground it. So that I can, when I ground myself, I can really harness my power. I can be in a flow state. I'm not judging myself. I'm not second guessing myself. That's that's the powerful state I'm in, right? Yeah. So let's uh, embody that grounding ourselves first in this full moon in Aquarius. Super powerful. We are detaching ourselves from our old story and create new. We're all finding a soul tribe right we feel like that turnover is happening and but we also need to realize that we're no longer responsible for people's emotions you mentor them you take care of them you're you know you you know when you have a child you take care of them but you're not responsible for their own journey you're not responsible for their personal journey and people's emotions that's a powerful, powerful place to be. You put yourself first, first. Love yourself first. Yeah. So that concludes our uh, live today. And I um, hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys back tomorrow at 9 a.m. PST. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot in my tummy right now. I'm enjoying this energy, definitely moving. So it's definitely the energy is high, you know, at the end of it, it's, it's a full moon. So really be kind to yourself, take yourself, take time for yourself and um, learn to be more kind and more loving to yourself and others. No one's perfect. We are all figuring out. So See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.